Great pleasure to have you in our community. You are now based in Canada, so please share a little bit more about yourself and let us know your story. Hi, Ed. So honored to be here. Thanks for having me. So yes, a little bit of my story. So I've been in Canada since 97. Um, I immigrated from the Balkans, former Yugoslavia. <laughs> so, so I've mm-hmm. grown up in Canada my whole life. And what I do today, I'm known as the Limitless Mindset Coach for female entrepreneurs. So what I do is I have online coaching like this via Zoom, where I empower other entrep- female entrepreneurs to gain focus and start making decisions with confidence by reframing their mindset and actions to unleash their full potential. And that's my full goal because I believe we all have unique gifts. And oftentimes we get caught up with life distractions and and sometimes we forget who we are. And I really want to empower other women to tap into that and share their gift and make a positive impact in the society. uh, uh, Lydia, for sharing what you're doing. And when did you decide what kind of events happened to you that you decide to serve other women with this particular topic, which is super relevant? Yes. For sure. It's definitely been a journey, Ed. So um, it started off, well, I started off my corporate career in my 20s. And I thought that would never end. I had a very successful career where I was a leader and a coach to many amazing individuals. And then um, one day my director pulled me aside and he's like, Lydia, due to company restructure, you no longer have a job. It wasn't just me. It was a huge restructuring thing. And I was just in shock. It was like a ton of bricks hit me. Like I said, I thought this is my life. I built my career. It was amazing. But at the same time, uh, the biggest impact, and this was really a turning point in my life was I was also going through a divorce, but nobody knew that part. So it was like, I just lost my 12 year career, everything that I've known and labeled myself as. And I also went through a divorce. So I really took the time in a long time to pause and just sit with myself because my typical behavior is just, you know, adjust, adapt, move forward and don't think too much, just problem solve and figure it out. And I really sat back and I've always had a passion for human behavior. Like I said, leadership coaching, but this time I really took the time to work on myself and self-reflect because I, I know not, I think I know in life, everything's teaching you a lesson. So I was like, wow, This is such a big turning point. It was really a true testament to my character, to my mental strength, everything. So I really invested in myself and worked with top mentors. And it was then that I discovered my power and my gift. And I began this entrepreneurship journey. And here we are, Limitless with Lydia. I was actually born during COVID (laughs) just a few months Mm -hmm. ago. So it's brand new business. Uh, I have a lot of experience, but like I said, it's from the corporate world. But my online coaching just started during COVID and nobody would think that. But if you really commit to yourself, you can do anything you want. So that's how this came to life. (laughs) Thank you, Lydia. And yes, this year is a life-changing experience for many people, especially for some entrepreneurs. And I know as someone who also worked for the corporate and then when you start your own business from your room, it's totally different (laughs) environment and you don't have a marketing budget of a couple of millions of dollars to invest to find your customers. Lydia, how you are finding your customers right now and how you're building the trust and how you actually uh, come to the place where people want to work with you and uh, they want to buy from you your service? Yeah, no, that's a great question. So what I'm doing right now is I, I really worked on my branding. So I have my website and I have my logo which I think your brand is really important because for me, my brand is my core values and what I believe in. And again, it's a huge empowerment of female entrepreneurs specifically. And what I forgot to mention is I also grew up in a domestically abusive home. So I always had this fear in me. I was very successful, but nobody knew that there was this gap missing. Like it was like a piece of the puzzle was missing until I really started working on the power of the mindset and applying all those things I've learned, right? So right now, what I'm doing is just getting out there. Again, I have amazing mentors and learning from them on how to connect, collaborate. It's all about building that trust, right? Because I know what I can bring to the table and what I offer. However, if you don't know me and and your values don't align with mine, why would you work with me, right? 
So I feel, and you know this really well, that branding is really key. So um, I do have my logo, which I love, and I do have to explain it because that's a huge part of who I am. Yeah, so I can imagine. Yeah, Lydia, yeah, it, that's planted L. So it's a double L. So it, it stands for Limitless with Lydia. If you look at it sideways, it's actually a W as well. And it's also Lydia Lukic with my name because my personal brand is really important. And then the letters are slanted. So it's always in motion, right? Because I believe growth mindset is very important. So that means that you're willing to learn a skill. You're always willing to be resilient, adjust, adapt in life, because that's what made me where I am and confident and do everything that I've done so far and really develop that mental toughness. And that's where my brand comes in. So that's what I'm promoting now. Um, I started doing, you know, I use Instagram and Facebook, obviously, and I started doing lives, actually, Facebook live. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable, but I learned that's the only way to grow. So I literally just started that two days ago, because I really want to get out there and connect with a lot of people. And again, if our values align, like perseverance, commitment, power, confidence, all those key things, I'm more than happy to connect and work and empower those women to build their dreams. Thank you, Lydia. Uh, I'm thinking about the uh, uh, women you are serving right now in Canada and maybe all over the world. Yeah. What they are struggling with right now? What are the frustrations they might have, especially in this year when um, the world is changing? So yeah. can you share a little bit more about the frustration which your clients have and how you can help them to overcome that frustration as well? Of course. So the patterns that I'm seeing uh, from the clients I've had, uh, again, it's it's in the beginning stages. However, there's been a lot of growth and knowledge from both sides. Um, what I'm seeing is mainly it's that overwhelmed feeling or losing who they are. And, and these women that I've worked with thus far are very amazing, very strong. And then it's sometimes just because, especially with COVID now, or sometimes it's something personal life event happens and, and I've been there and done that. So I can definitely relate. And, and you lose yourself, you forget who you are. And often, if you think when you were a child, you know, that powerful, like when you're just fearless child, you just do whatever you don't think what people are going to think, you don't think, Oh, should I do this? This is scary. You just go and do right children are so carefree, right? And, um, and that's, that's the biggest thing I've noticed. And also it's putting labels on themselves. So a lot of them are like, you know, I'm the mother, so I should do this a certain way, or I'm a CEO. So the expectation is X, Y, and Z. Or when I was a child, I was told I'm this way. So, you know, I need to, they put labels on themselves. And these are the stories that are created in us and we see them as true and they're not. So where I come in is I'm not teaching them something new. It's literally just uncovering those blind spots, really tapping into who they are, reminding them of who they are. And, and the most priceless feeling that I have is when I see that aha moment, you know, and when they just their face lights up and they get it. And I see that power shine through and you can see through the screen, you can see my energy right now. Same with them. Like when you just see that aha moment, they're like, yes, I got this. I know who I am and I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. That's my winning moment. And that's why I do what I do. I want to build that huge community. It's a movement. That's my mission. I want to have these women empowered and like making a big positive change in the world. So those are the biggest things. Again, labels and feeling overwhelmed. So losing that focus. So we really remove and eliminate those distractions, create healthy habits and get them on the right path. And uh, from my understanding, also many women are struggling with the finance. So they they depends about the, the their husbands or the the parents or or the the company. And when they decide to do something by themselves, just like you did, they struggle with the finance. So how your system and and program can help them, like to uh, in, to have that clarity and to have that self confidence. But at the same time, uh, is there also is you helping them to understand how they can make money? Yeah, for sure. So I haven't had that personally at the moment. However, I can understand what you're saying, and I'm sure it'll come up. But what I really find is if you create that mental toughness, if you control the mind, because our mind is a very powerful tool, more than we think, right? Mm -hmm. So it's really about creating those healthy habits and self discipline, having that accountability for yourself and the actions you take that that makes you very clear so it's creating that clarity so it can be financial personal professional whatever something from the childhood it, it it doesn't matter what the challenge is or what the limiting belief is once you are clear on who you are right 
and your core values, like who you are truly, not what your parents told you, not society, not cultural, who you are. That's what I find is truly a breakthrough. It's it's that limitless feeling. That's why I want to build that limitless mindset. And this is for anyone. So it doesn't matter really what the specific topic is that we're talking about. It's more tapping into who you are, knowing what you want, and then creating those healthy habits and actions to get you to your end result. And uh, for all women who are in our group, so we have uh, women from over 70 countries, how they can uh, find you, how they can reach out to you and how uh, they can find more information about you and maybe if they won't work with you. For sure. So the best place is my website. It's meetlydia, L-Y-D-I-A dot com. And I also have a free gift for anyone that signs up for those healthy habits. So you can sign up and you get your free PDF file right away. So that's the best way if you want to work with me, read more about me and also social media, Limitless with Lydia. And um, and I also was uh, published in a book. It's a bestseller. <laughs> so that's the most recent one. So they can purchase the book. because I think this book will be a game changer for everyone. It's for entrepreneurs. So it's 300 habits in there from various entrepreneurs, like from different backgrounds. It's called One Habit for Entrepreneurial Success too. So that's amazing. Yeah, we're going to share the, the, the links for, for, for the book and for all your social media accounts for sure. So people who are interesting, they, they, can, they can find information about you. Yeah. And uh, Lydia, during this COVID-19, and you said you started your own business, which is super, super cool. And uh, how about your health? What are you doing to keep yourself healthy and uh, you can serve others and at the same time, don't lose your self-love? Like, what do you do? What, are, what kind of uh, habits you have? That's a great question. And, and that's a very important one. You really got to fill your cup first <laughs> before you can help anyone else. So I agree with you. Definitely. Well, one of them is, and I don't want to share too much because that's the free gift. It's elevate your day morning routine. So I have specific routines and things that I do. I'll share a few. <laughs> um, so every morning I, I have like a gratitude list that I do. Uh, every morning I walk with my dog, Romeo. I try to, ex- I don't exercise every day, so I'm not going to lie to the <laughs> viewers, whoever is watching it, but I try to really uh, exercise and do something like that. And it's also very important to me what I feed my mind. So what you put in here, if I just watch news, Netflix, whatever, I'm just going to be a couch potato. So for me, I, I read books, audio books. I prefer that. I do that on a daily. That's very important to me. And again, who I surround myself with and work with. So those are my healthy habits. So fitness hang out with my dog. I love him. He gives me positive energy, uh, really what you feed your mind and then setting up your goals, prioritizing. And that really sets me up for success during any crazy times. <laughs> Amazing. Leah. Thank you so much for sharing your story. It's congratulations it's- like to be successful entrepreneur in Canada uh, during this uh, pandemic and you made it. So uh, I, I think that will inspire other women to, uh, to contact you and to the same, to do the same. Lydia, thank you so much. Uh, I wish you a great end of this year and then upcoming years with your business. And thank you for being part of our community. And I invite all the people who are watching this video who are part of the, uh, our community to reach out to Lydia and uh, grow together with Lydia. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. Appreciate it.